were the size of these Egyptian cockroaches? They're long and thin. Slip right in. <laughs> Like, I figure we can't let another week go past without watching a Bob Mortimer clip after the big dentistry clip of last week. Uh, no, no, especially with um, everything that's going on in our personal lives. Like, I might even have to go consult my own dentist soon, so... <laughs> but I'm going to talk to him about the Fuji 9. <laughs> the old Fuji 9, which does exist. It is a real product. Someone in our comment section has confirmed. Uh, this story is one that's popped up a few times as well, but it hasn't been in our compilation, so we haven't been able to check it out. But I think now that we've done the dentistry clip, we're kind of free to be able to do Bob in any order now, because I don't know if there are any other spoilers in other videos. So this one is Bob Mortimer, the Cockroach King. My first taste of fame was when the local newspaper dubbed me the Cockroach King. <laughs> uh, what was the newspaper? My local. <laughs> uh, it was called the South London Press. <laughs> so, are you from South London? <laughs> I was in the lead-up to the headline the Cockroach King. <laughs> Why were you in the public eye doing what? I was a solicitor at the time, mm -hmm. and I sued the local authority. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. of cockroach infestations in the council houses. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> and of course, it was that kind of style in court that won the day. You know? We settled outside of court, actually. But the... <laughs> to change the names, because these are real legal proceedings that we're talking about. Here we go. Right. Well, why does the fact that it's real legal proceedings mean you have to change the names? Because I don't think it's fair to say that, let's say she's called Barbara Lighthouse. <laughs> Lived in the horror of cockroach infestation. Were you representing Barbara Lighthouse? I was, yes. She'd engaged your services. She's engaged my services. I visited her property. Must have been ages to get to the top. <laughs> <laughs> there were Egyptian cockroaches. So I had an what? idea, right? I said, I bet this is bad for your mental health, living with cockroaches. And I... Um, took them to the magistrate's court on a private criminal prosecution under the Public Health Act. Why are you counting every letter in the same <laughs> <laughs> Are you working out which to charge her? You mentioned the Egyptian cockroach. The Egyptian cockroach, How yeah. many? I wasn't aware there were different types. They live in the concrete. Um, and they can actually live off the concrete that the buildings are made so of. So eat the concrete. Eat concrete. Yep. Bob, they, 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 they've got some hard cockroaches. <laughs> they live in the concrete. They nip out to go behind the fridge or the cooker. <laughs> or to turn the light out. <laughs> so, Did so, these... What were the size of these Egyptian cockroaches? They're long and thin, slip right in. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, my that's my profile on Tinder. <laughs> Cockroach King would suggest a champion of the cockroach rather than an opponent. Or, or the in fact, their leader. Yes. Did you lead the cockroaches away like the Pied Piper? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> what happened was, is I got an expert from uh, the University of Cambridge um, called Broccoli High Kicks. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I've changed his name. His brief for me was, can you in any way argue that this is contrary to public health? He confirmed it, um, went to court. It's all coming ever so clear now. <laughs> we went to court, yeah? Ronnie Omelettes was the housing officer. You may think you haven't changed his name, haven't you? Oh and God. what was she called? Barbara Lighthouse. <laughs> The lighthouse brought a, a clear jar of the cockroaches with her and oh. poured them over Ronnie omelettes. <laughs> right? Of course, yeah. he was very frightened, didn't know what to do. Oh. At which point, Barbara Lighthouse said, I think I've made my point. 
you know, to the housing officer, yeah. this is what I live with. <laughs> so the council agreed to rehouse. Next day, the cockroach king. <laughs> What's he going to say, Dave? <laughs> Without a doubt, the best story for made-up names he's done so far. Absolutely. Oh, my God. This... <laughs> if I had a million guesses for a name, do you think I would ever, ever come up with Broccoli High Kicks? <laughs> That was amazing. That is a really... <laughs> such a stupid name. It's like something you'd hear on Spongebob. But... <laughs> oh, it's so good. Putting all of that aside, this is such a hard story to judge. So for me, there was there was some parts of the story where he had that cheeky grin like, I can't believe I'm saying these <laughs> things. Uh, yeah. which, which often makes you think like it's contributed to it being a lie. Yeah. But then a, a lot of that detail, like we do know that he was a solicitor. And I think a lot of those details did s seem like it was coming from a point of truth. And at the end of all of that, you never bet against the house of Bob Mortimer. So this is true. I've always got to say true for this one. Look, I, I want to join you in the truth camp just because I don't want to be left out with, with how these always play out. But mm -hmm. um, surely, like... Did, did he say that somebody poured the cockroaches onto somebody? Yeah, I think so. I was I was losing my mind laughing of, over broccoli high kicks and Ronnie omelettes by then. But I kind of lost track of the story, but yeah, I think so. <laughs> like, as a solicitor, I would have thought that that's also assault. <laughs> to prove no, it, well. you, 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 like... I don't, I, I don't think he said he did it. I think he said that she Lighthouse did, did it. Yeah. Yeah. I, you're representing her. <laughs> now you have to represent her about an assault charge as well. Anyways, we're getting off topic, but I, I, <laughs> that was the part of the story where I started to question it. And I don't really know if it is true, but I'm going to say it's true because it's Bob Morto. Anyone else, this would be a, a lie in my opinion. I would say if you were if you were true all the way up until that moment, then yes, yeah, a good idea to stick with true. Truth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I wouldn't I wouldn't question it just because of that. No, no. All right, all right let's find out. True. Sure. That bizarre that only Bob could make it up. So I think that's true. Mm. That doesn't make sense. You're saying, <laughs> no, it doesn't make sense. If you're saying only Bob could make it up, only then Bob he could have can, made it up. That, no, only Bob can make it up like that. Right. So convincing. Yeah. So we're in trouble, aren't we? <laughs> you're saying that if anyone else had said it, it would definitely be true because they couldn't have invented it. The one person who's saying it is also coincidentally the only human who could also have invented it. it yes. Awesome. What a terrible set of circumstances. <laughs> Do you think it's true? Uh, yes, let's say it's true. Uh, we're going to go true. Nice. OK. Go now, on. Bob, truth or lie? I was telling the truth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just, just another ridiculous story for Bob Mortimer, and I love it. <laughs> like, after this amount of time, as the host, I would want, like, video or photo proof. Cos you just... You, you need to... Prove it. <laughs> That's a perfect example of surely someone has that headline, yeah. the Cockroach King, like that newspaper. Yeah, yeah, good call. You're right. Like that. That's very much one that they could have just shown right then and there. So if anyone has seen it and they have a link to it, please leave it in the comment section below just so we can actually see the Cockroach King and, and a nice young picture of uh, Big Bobby Mortz. Guys, I hope did you guys <laughs> like that video. Please let us know in the comments, yes or no. And if you would be so kind to hit that like button there, that would be amazing. Thank you. And if you want to see more Would I Like You clips, of course, Bob Mortimer clips, then hit on that playlist just up there for an ever-growing list. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for the next one. Bye, guys.